Now here's a question for you. If you're standing on the equator and you weigh X number of pounds of weight, and then you move to the North Pole and you stand up here at the North Pole and weigh yourself again, would you have exactly the same weight or would you weigh slightly different if you're on the equator versus the pole? Now the answer to this is yes, you actually would measure and you would actually have a different weight on the equator versus the pole. And to understand why, we have to talk about the rotation of the Earth. Now there's two main reasons for this. Now we think of the Earth as this perfect sphere, but actually as it's rotating, it's slightly bulged in the center, in the mid area here, as compared to the uh, top there, the poles. So actually, the farther away you are at the equator from the center of the Earth, because it's bulging, is one of the reasons why you're going to weigh less there. The other reason is due to the forces because of the rotation of the planet. Now we don't feel it, but the Earth is actually at the equator rotating tangentially at about a thousand miles per hour. That's really, really fast. But notice that that speed is maximum if you're standing on the equator. As you move more and more and more and more north, all the way up to the North Pole, eventually if you're standing right here on the North Pole and the Earth is rotating, you would just be kind of looking up at the sky, rotating in a tiny circle around your feet, and you wouldn't be really moving very fast, just a pure rotation about your axis. Axis. So maximum speed at the equator and zero speed, tangential speed, standing on the North Pole. So as we're riding around on the surface of the planet at the equator at a thousand miles an hour, we have a constant tendency to want to travel in a straight line away from the surface of the planet. That's the law of inertia. And so what that means is we're tending to be flung away from the planet all the time. Now this tendency to be flung away from the planet shows up as what's called a fictitious force called the centrifugal force. It's not a real force, it's just the tendency of everything to travel in a straight line away from the surface of the planet trying to be flung away. It's highest at the equator because the rotational speed is highest at the equator and it's zero at the poles of the planet. Now this counteracting force opposite of gravity tends to make you feel lighter at the equator. So a 200 pound person measuring their weight at the poles would actually be about 5% lighter or about 199 pounds at the equator. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.